Calm down, your PC pills are not as bad as you think they are. If you're already doing all of these things. I've been hearing quite a lot of people talking about how scary it is for them to have their CPU and GPU temps somewhere around the 70 to 85 degree mark. And I'll tell you this, 70 to 80 or even 85, like I said before, is perfectly fine. Definitely not the best, but perfectly fine. As a general rule of thumb, I'll kind of try to categorize the following temperatures as being good. At idle, 30 to 50 degrees is very good. Under load, 60 to 75 degrees is very good. And up to 85, it is still a-okay, unless you're seeing any sort of weird behavior. But if not, you're fine. And the moment that I'd actually start worrying about them is when they go above 90, let's say. So here's what you can do in that case. I am already considering that you have a more than adequate cooler for your CPU, because if your CPU pulls 250 watts of power, you will need a very good cooler for it. However, most CPUs, at least the ones that are good, don't go anywhere near the 250 watt mark and any decent cooler will do just fine for them. So just make sure your PC is clean, so no dust. Make sure you have good airflow in your PC, this is very important. Check this video out on our channel if you want to learn more about that. And make sure your thermal paste isn't toothpaste. And honestly, even if your temps are a bit higher depending on those factors, as long as you pay attention to these things, you're going to be perfectly fine. And no damage to your components won't happen unless you run them at 500 degrees constantly.